video, we're going to show you how big, bold technology leaps are enabling sustained productivity gains in UK engineering, manufacturing and distribution, and how you can join in. Right now, in Europe, raw materials, parts and components are making their way independently through the production process, with machines, products and sensors spontaneously communicating with one another, making decisions without direct human intervention. The Advanced Manufacturing Research Centre is backing that vision of the future by building a brand new £40 million factory in Sheffield. So we're bringing together industry experts, academics, backed by government to really focus on innovative products uh, for reconfigurable manufacturing. We're here to develop the understanding, adoption and deployment of them uh, throughout UK industry. And we're looking at augmented reality, taking information from the CAD system and displaying it on parts like a, like a wing. Um, and 3D printing is uh, changing the world in terms of the ability to prototype much quicker than we've been able to in the past. That sounds great, but how can businesses get involved? Um, we work with businesses from large OEMs to tier ones and, and SMEs, so really we take inquiries from absolutely anybody. One of the new technologies that's captured everyone's attention is virtualisation. The idea is a simple one. You take the miles of conveyor belts, motor drives, scanners, elevators and machine tool components and raw materials and then you put all that information into a software package and create a virtual factory. An exact replica in fact of the real physical factory because the virtual factory enables you to take a real time big picture view identify areas where you can improve efficiency, cut out waste and prevent problems occurring in the real factory. But the biggest thing virtualization delivers is the ability to add more innovation, more flexibility and most importantly more productivity. Today every sensor button and monitoring device has the potential to become a participant in the Internet of Things, each with their own IP address. These so-called cyber physical systems will eventually enable machines and workpieces to communicate with one another and make decisions within the process. Employees can use virtualization to check the product meets the required quality standard and is ready to be shipped to the customer. Today, your IT infrastructure is becoming more important than your raw materials, machine tools and physical assets. Cloud technology is enabling infrastructures like this to become part of a global ecosystem of suppliers, partners and customers. A connected supply chain speeding up decision making, collaboration and innovation. The companies who thrive in this new world may not be the biggest right now, but they certainly will be the most flexible in the future. With the ability to customise the product to meet the ever-changing demands of their customers. Customisation is great because it requires zero inventory, everything is made to order and there is no waste. The step beyond customising is individualising. An entire product is made just for one customer. Like most of today's early adopters, we too started by creating a virtual 3D factory using an easy to use software package and this allowed us to experiment with different setups. But there are problems when you start harnessing the Internet of Things and deploying cyber physical systems, you generate mountains of big data. Fortunately, smart systems are now available which make sense of that big data, delivering the factory decision makers the information they need. A typical text message might read, Motor Drive 10 on conveyor belt B requires maintenance. Please press confirm to order the part. Creating your UK factory of the future is going to require skills. People, engineers, technicians. But what skills are going to be needed? Where are these people going to come from? And who's going to train them? To answer that question, I travelled to Coventry to one of the high value manufacturing catapult centres, the Manufacturing Technology Centre, where they've just opened the Lloyds Bank Advanced Manufacturing Training Centre. There's no point generating the technologies unless you also generate the people who can use those technologies. The engineers and technicians that go through uh, this training centre will have a, a grounding in all of the old technologies, but then they will have all of the skills needed 
for the new technologies that we're developing. So how do our engineering skills in the UK compare to those in the rest of the world? I think the problem we have worldwide is there aren't enough engineers and there aren't enough people coming through with the right skills to really drive the industry forward. The unique thing about the centre is the access that we've got to all of the new technologies that we're developing as part of the Manufacturing Technology Centre itself. And the fact that we've, we've got the people that are developing those processes that can teach uh, you know, the guys in the Apprentice Centre and really make sure that they've got the skills that they need for tomorrow's industry and not just the skills that were needed for, for yesterday's industry. Creating the UK factory of the future is a big idea. No one company on their own could achieve this. It requires collaboration on a grand scale, a revolution in the way we think, communicate and collaborate. We hope this short video has inspired you and given you an insight into how a revolution in new technologies, Industry 4.0, can enable you to accelerate your innovation, respond to customer needs and drive up productivity. Themes can help you review your options, overcome challenges and provide the technology, equipment and engineering expertise to build your factory of the future. Give us a call, we'd love to talk to you.